So thank you so much for joining us today, Matt, and I will pass it over to you now. Great. Hey, everybody. How's it going? My name is Matt Thompson. I work for the Social Planning and Research Council. Uh, my project is Hamilton Tax Help, and I'm really excited to be here today. All right. So if we go to the next slide, that would be fantastic. Let's see. Can you hear me? Uh -oh. All right. Goals for today. So goals for today are pretty simple. Uh, I want you to walk away from this presentation feeling like you're getting ready to file your taxes. Um, right now it's November. Uh, as we're approaching the end of the year, we're going to be looking towards you know, the end of February as when we start to file our taxes. So we have time to get ready. We have a couple months. But when you think about doing your taxes, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff that you got to get together, right? There's papers you got to get together. There's people you got to contact. And so the reason why we're doing this in November is that we want to set that goal that it's in our mind that we've started on this process. Because sometimes when you send off emails, when you're trying to get information from companies you worked for, it takes a bit of time. So our goal for today is that I want you to walk away from here feeling like you have uh, started the process of getting your taxes ready and that you have control. So that's kind of what I really want you to feel like. Like, hey, you know what? There's this thing, it's filing my taxes. Uh, it can be tricky at times, but I feel like I'm in control. So next slide, please. Great. So really quickly, um, in terms of us, so we're Hamilton Tax Help. I'm gonna talk a little bit about where we're located, just in case you ever need to come see us, even during the time of COVID. But most importantly, what you see there is a phone number, 365-366-1767. That's our phone number if you know anyone who needs to get their taxes done. So a lot of government benefits that are out there are related to getting your taxes done. There's a number of people because of COVID who haven't gotten their taxes done. So if you know anyone that still needs to file, do give us a call, 365-366-1767. Next slide, please. So the thing about us as an organization, Hamilton Tax Help, is that we know that not everyone can work by phone. And so what you have up there is a quick little Google map um, showing where our office is. Now, during the time of COVID, we can't meet people at our office, but you're able to drop your papers off. So the reason why I talk about this is just because I want to give you the context that, you know, we're here to support you over the phone. Um, but if you need to come see us, we're down at Barton and Ottawa. If we can go to the next slide, please. And that's us there. So we're at 1130 Barton Street, East Hamilton, Ontario. We're in this red brick building. And if you're working with us, if you're working with someone who needs to get their taxes done, um, what you can see is that arrow points right at where our drop box is. So once again, not everyone can work by phone, not everyone can work by email. If you need to come see us, uh, you're worried about getting your taxes done, um, that is where our office is located. We're not currently open to the public due to COVID, but we do have a mailbox there and we're finding a number of people who aren't always comfortable with technology are dropping their taxes off to us once they've given us a call. So this is just kind of that, that problem solvingness that we like to do uh, before we get into the actual work. Now, the other thing that I want to say is that because we don't know the situation during COVID, uh, when tax filing season starts uh, at the end of February, we don't know right now if we are going to be open. Uh, if we are going to be open, which, you know, is a possibility, we just don't know because it's 2020, that is where our office may be available uh, for walk-ins. But once again, we don't know. So that's also just something to keep in mind as well. All right, next slide, please. Get the next slide. All right, so getting ready to file. That's why we're here today. Once again, I want you to walk away feeling like, you know, things are going to be good and you're feeling better. You're on the path to get you ready to file your taxes. Next slide, please. So when it comes to getting your taxes filed, really, there's kind of like two things that are just the most important, right? So when you think of filing your taxes, there's papers everywhere. You know, you're worried about getting this set of papers here, these recite receipts here, this letter here. All of that kind of comes into like two big pieces of information. One, um, you got to figure out, you know, what papers do you have that represent your income? And two, what papers do you have that represent your rent or your property tax? Next slide, please. 
So the first uh, paper we're going to talk about is your T4. So your T4 is the slip that you get. Actually, if we can go forward to the next slide. So it's the slip that you get from working uh, for a company, for an employer. And so your T4 has all your income information on it. Um, it's the record that the, the employer sends to the government. And the really important thing about the T4 is that if you have this, then it's actually relatively easy to file your taxes. So this is, once again, if you're working a job, your employer has to give you uh, a T4 under most circumstances if you have like pretty standard employment. Um, and a T4 is there. Um, and it just makes filing your taxes really, really easy. So when you have these papers, uh, one thing that's really important to remember is that, you know, today we're talking about problem solving and we're going to talk about like, if you have all the papers, it's pretty easy. If you don't have all the papers, here's how to problem solve. So if you have your T4, yeah, I think we should be in pretty good shape. Once again, all the information's there. Your employer should have them for you. If you don't have your T4, we're going to talk about how to problem solve around that. But once again, that's your T4. You'll be getting that from your employer. Next slide. So for other folks, um, their income might be old age security and Canada pension plans, the CPP. So if you're over the age of 65, this is most likely your employment. So that's your OAS and your T4AP. So next slide, please. So those slips look kind of like T4s, um, except they're different colors. One is yellow and one is pink. And so if this is what your income is, you'll be getting these slips sometime in January, maybe early February at the latest. And this will have all your information about your Canada pension plan and your old age security. So you want to make sure you have those set aside. Uh, and if you don't have those, once again, we're going to talk about how to problem solve around that. So that's your T4 OAS and your T4 AP. Next up. Uh, is the T507 slip. So the T507 is the slip that you get um, if you are someone who is currently receiving Ontario Works or Ontario Disability Support Program, so OW or ODSP. Um, for folks who have received CERB, uh, we don't have the final information yet, but your CERB also might be showing up on a T507. Uh, that hasn't been confirmed yet to us, so we're going to talk mainly about folks getting OW and ODSP. So if you can go to the next slide. Your T507 is a pretty simple form. Uh, you would be getting it from your OW or ODSP worker. Um, often folks uh, get this. And the one thing that we say that's really important with this is because that um, working within the social service system, often papers can be a bit hard to replace. So if you get your T507, kind of like the T4 and the T4 AP and the T4 OAS, um, take a photo of it. You know, that way you have the information that's on the T507. The actual copy of that piece of paper is not the most essential thing, but we need to know what information, sorry, we need to know the information that's on it. Uh, having a copy of it, having a photo is totally fine. So that's your T507 and that's what you have if you are getting uh, Ontario Works or ODSP. All right, next slide, please. So that was us talking about your income. There are other forms of income um, that we can talk about, but given the limited nature of our presentation, what we really wanted to talk about were the main sources. So T4, T4 OAS, T4 AP, T5 007. So that's your income. I want you to think that off to the side here. Uh, the second thing that's really important when you're getting ready to do your taxes is um, you want to be able to have a record of any rent that was paid or any property tax that was paid. So if you look at the screen there, um, what you can see to, on the left side is a rent receipt. So rent receipts are really important to have because if you're below a certain income, usually it's around um, $40,000 a year. If you claim your rent, you often get additional benefits. We're going to talk about what those benefits are later, but once again, it's really important to claim your rent if you're making less than $40,000 a year. Uh, for receipts, uh, landlords just need to give you a piece of paper. It can be a receipt from a receipt book. It can be something that's more of a letter, but you do need that receipt and you need to hang on to it in case the CRA asks for it. The second image that you can see on the right is a City of Hamilton property tax bill. So once again, um, you would be able to get this either you would get it from the city when you're paying your property taxes, it would be mailed off to you, or you're able to get it through the city 
um, through hamilton.ca and you would log on through there and, and receive a copy of it as well. So same idea there. If you're below a certain income threshold, you always want to claim your property taxes. So that's your rent and your property tax. Next slide, please. Other forms of income. So what what I would say is that as Hamilton Tax Help, um, our mandate, because we're a nonprofit, um, we work with people who are mainly coming from these sources of income, um, but there are other sources of income. And what I'm talking about here is kind of folks who are working in the gig economy. So that's Uber drivers, skip the dishes drivers, folks who are doing that kind of delivery work. If that is your source of income, so you're driving Uber, um, Lyft, skip, I, I won't name all the places. But what's really important when you come to get your taxes done is that you itemize off what, what your income was every month. So if you're working for a drive share company, it's really important that you print off what you made every month uh, and that you're able to kind of say, okay, from January, February, March, April, May, all through the rest of the year, this is what my income looked like every month. Hopefully the companies that you're working for, whether they're drive share or food delivery, they're able to provide those to you. Um, if you can't get those as like a PDF file, the other thing that you can do that's actually really helpful um, is you can hop on your phone and actually just like screen capture um, your account statement for the month. So when you're getting your taxes done, whether you're bringing a PDF or just bringing screen caps and printing those off, it's really important to have those if you're if you're working within that part of the gig economy. So that's kind of yeah that that's that other big source of income that we see from folks uh, in Hamilton that are accessing our clinic. Next slide, please. So the next thing I want to talk about um, is filing online. And so um, to me, what's really interesting is we when we were starting uh, this program, you know, we were seeing people in person, in person and in person because we want to help people in person, right? That's what we like to do. And because of COVID, we've really seen a push to assisting people to file online. Now, what that looks like is really, really interesting. So if we can go to the next slide. What you can see here is a list of about two dozen um, pieces of software or websites that let you file for free. Um, or sometimes they're paid. But what's really neat about this is that the government has said, you know what, like we need to make it easier for people to file. So for myself, um, when I do my taxes, I really like this software called Simple Tax. Simple Tax is a web-based software. It works on your phone and it walks you through almost like an interview. Um, it says, you know, this is what the information that we need from you. This is fantastic. This is great. And here's what your return looks like. So. What's really neat about Simple Tax is that if you feel like you know this kind of software is something that's great, you can come see us at Hamilton Tax Help. We will help you put your papers together. We'll help you get your information together. And then from an empowerment side of things, it's also great if you go and you grab any piece of uh, anything on that list, the software, the websites, and you do your taxes yourself, right? Because that's ultimately what we want to see is we want to we want to teach people to do things for themselves. So that's a big list uh, right off of the Government of Canada's website of all the certified websites and pieces of software that let you do your taxes for yourself online. Uh, some are free, some are paid. And once again, if that's a direction that you want to go to, um, but you're not fully there yet, give us a call at Hamilton Tax Help. We will help you put your papers together and then you can go off and do it yourself. And it's really been over the last like two years that you've been able to file your taxes over your phone. I think that's really exciting. I'm excited to see what we can do with that, uh, how we can push that further. But yeah, just, just lots of opportunities, especially in the time of COVID, to not have to see people, uh, whether you, know, you would go to a commercial tax filer or, or not. Um, there's options now, and to me, that's really exciting, right? So next slide. So this is kind of a, a big, important piece is that um, over the last dozen slides, I've talked about, you know, here's this form here, here's this form here, here's this form here, here's this form here. And you might thinking, you might be thinking to yourself, that's great. You know, I have this form, I've set it aside in an envelope, I'm ready to get my taxes filed. Or you might be like, 
most people, and you might go, you know what? I had that T507, I had the T4, I can't find it. All right, sometimes we move, sometimes, like there's so many reasons why we lose pieces of paper, and, and that's okay. Um, and what I want you to know is that all these pieces of paper that we've mentioned, all these receipts, all these sources of income, that yes, you can still file without having all of your information ready. So we can go to the next slide. Yes. Um, what do we mean by can we file without having all my information ready? Well, I want you to picture someone who say works uh, really, really hard at like four jobs, right? I don't know if anyone's ever worked four jobs at once uh, that's on this webcast, but sometimes when you're working four jobs, you you might leave one and just forget to ask that employer for a T4. And then you're sitting there and it, you know it's, it's the end of March, it's the end of April, and you're like, I need to get my taxes done. I have my three T4s, but I'm missing this one T4. And what we would say to you is that given that there's many, many benefits um, related to getting your taxes done, it's really, really important to know that yes, you can still file without all of your information being there in front of you, right? If you're missing that one T4, that's okay. Um, if you're missing that T507, we know that um, many housing agencies require that you file your taxes and that if you're not filing your taxes because you don't have that T507, we wanna help you problem solve around that. So at Hamilton Tax Help, what we will do is if you come in and you're missing information, we'll work with you we will then basically say, hey, look, you know, you've got your taxes ready. This is fantastic. We're going to send this in. But once we send it in, we're going to work together and we're going to call the CRA together, which we do uh, just using a uh, three way call on our phones. And we're going to get your taxes in. And the, but we're going to let the CRA know right away. Hey, you know, this person got their taxes and they're being super responsible, but they're missing a T4 or they're missing this information from their T507 and the CRA. Um, you know, they'll, they'll have individual response, but they'll be very happy that we let them know. So, like I said, we, we've we seen as a barrier that people often are not filing because they're missing like one piece of paper. Maybe they moved, maybe their employer wasn't fantastic at getting them that T4, but they're missing that piece of paper. And what we want to say to you is come see us and we're going to come up with a plan to get you filed. And if it means that we get that information later, that's okay. And that's kind of my one key message from this actually is, you know, what we see over and over is people are not filing because they're worried about missing that piece of paper, but that's okay. We're going to work you. We're going to work with you to get past that. So, and if you're if you're thinking, oh, well, maybe that's not about me, but maybe I have friends or family members or neighbors, let them know to give us a call to you, right? 365-366-1767. We do want to problem solve with them. So that's uh, that's a lot of yes on the PowerPoint right now. So we'll go to the next slide. So really quickly, um, one part of getting people to prepare to get their taxes done is also getting them excited about what happens when they do get their taxes done. So what I like to do at this point is, you know, we've gone through all these things that I need you to do. What I want to talk about now is when you file, here's some really exciting benefits that you get from filing your taxes. So we'll go to the next slide. So the first, um, first person we're gonna talk about is a lone individual. So this is an adult over the age of 18. Uh, they are living by themselves, and we're gonna say that their income is slightly less than $40,000 a year. So next slide, please. So when you file, uh, what's really exciting is that there are government benefits out there that you get from filing. And we can go way into this about all the different benefits, but I'm gonna just talk about three simple ones that you get when you file as an individual, say making less than $40,000 a year. The first uh, is GST. So there's a GST benefit that comes out uh, that is quarterly, and that can be between $300 to $500 a year, depending on your situation, uh, depending on if your income is lower. There's a, a number of different things that can change that, but once again, that money's there. The second thing is the Ontario Trillium benefit. So the Ontario Trillium benefit is between $300 and about $900 a year for a loan individual. Uh, the trillion benefit is fantastic because if you claim that rent that we were talking about earlier, your trillion goes up. It goes up from the base, which is around 308, 312. And like I said, it can go up to seven, eight or $900. 
a year, at which point it actually becomes a monthly benefit. And just for clarification, the Ontario Trillium benefit has nothing to do with the Ontario Trillium drug benefit. It also has nothing to do with the Ontario Trillium Foundation. Uh, we have found that people uh, do often get confused, especially around the Ontario Trillium benefit and the drug benefit. They have nothing to do with each other, but once again, it's a benefit I wanted to talk about. The third benefit uh, is the climate action incentive. So for the lone individual, when you file, you will see that on your return, you're getting back $224. That is just what people in Ontario are getting uh, as part of the climate action incentive. So when you start to look at those numbers and add them up, the incentive, the incentive to file is there. So when you go, oh, well, Matt, you know, we also just spent like 15 minutes talking about all this work I need to do. I'm like, yeah, we were talking about all this work you need to do. But look at what the lone individual gets when they do file. So, so once again, getting ready to file also means let's talk about the exciting things that happen. So next slide, please. All right, so next up, we're just gonna talk about what happens, uh, what are the benefits that you get when you file as an adult with a dependent? And we'll go forward. So same thing, uh, there's the GST, which is quarterly. So we're looking three to $500 a year, it goes up more uh, if you have more dependents. Secondly, the Trillium uh, benefit, which goes up more once again, depending on benefits. Uh, then there's the Canada Child Benefit. Now that is dependent on the age of the children um, and also your income, it, it varies greatly, but the Canada Child Benefit is really important and it's there if you file. So if you're interested to learn more about the CCB and you're not receiving it, I recommend that you go to the Canada Child Benefit Calculator. Uh, there's a number of those online. You put in your age, um, the age of your dependents and you can see what money is potentially there for you. And then finally, the climate action incentive goes up to $280 if you are an adult with one dependent who is filing. So that's kind of me talking about the benefits of filing. Uh, next week, we're gonna talk more about a number of different benefits, including how to access information around the benefits that have uh, come live during COVID because there's a lot of benefits out there um, that not everyone is accessing. Um, some folks have heard about them, they haven't been able to access them. And so that's gonna be our conversation next week. But I really just wanted to give you a, a hint because you sat through that first part uh, about getting ready to file that, yeah, you know, these benefits are out there and they're great. So next slide. I love this slide because this is fantastic and fun. So this is making life easier via my CRA. So my CRA is the CRA's uh, web portal. And if you go to the next slide for me, what's really neat about my CRA, uh, the way you access it for most folks is you just type in my CRA into Google because it's a bit of a longer link, um, is that it lets you access three things that are really important. Um, the first thing is that your my CRA account lets you access your notice of assessment. So often if you are applying to say rent an apartment, or rent, uh, sorry, rent an apartment or receive a mortgage or access um, a number of different social services where you have to show your proof of income. If you've heard of something that asks for your proof of income or a means test, that's where you're gonna get your notice of assessment. So when you file, you'll get a paper copy of your notice of assessment. That's fantastic. Many people lose pieces of paper. So if you need another copy of your notice of assessment, you get it through my CRA. The second thing my CRA does really, really well now is that it lets you sign up for direct deposit. So if you look back to those benefits that I was talking about, the trillion benefit and GST. So the GST is four, the GST benefit uh, refund, sorry, is four times a year. So that's four checks. Uh, trillium is 12 times a year, depending on the amount of trillium you're getting. So that's 12 checks. So all of a sudden that's like 16 checks that you have coming to you. So that's 16 checks. So that's 16 checks you have to look out for. That's also 16 trips to the bank. Um, that is enjoyable for some folks, but what we found is most people are just kind of really excited to get all of that signed up to direct deposit because it means that you're not worried about hanging onto these pieces of paper. And it also means you're not going to the bank as much. So signing up, through my CRA for direct deposit is fantastic. They've just launched the ability for you to sign up through your bank. 
So I highly, highly, highly recommend that, um, especially if you are someone who's going to be getting Trillium in GST. You know, it's just having less checks. Uh, I'm sure some people enjoy getting checks, but for most people, it's just one less thing you have to worry about. So two things I love about my CRA, getting your copy of a notice of assessment, getting your direct deposit. And then finally, the third thing is that you can file adjustments through my CRA. So what that means is, um, say we were getting your taxes ready for you and you said, hey, Matt, you know, please don't claim my rent. I don't have that rent receipt from my old landlord. And then you come in like three months later and you're like, hey, Matt, I talked to my landlord and I got my rent receipt. Well, we need to adjust um, your filing. Through my CRA, we can do that. So all of a sudden I can go in and I can say, oh yeah, okay, we're gonna claim your rent now. And that means that you might be getting more benefits. So the ability to change your filing um, and adjust it through my CRA is fantastic. So those are the three things that most people are using my CRA to do to make their lives easier. Um, and, once, and once again, if, if you view this whole thing as being easier, you're more likely to file your taxes, which is great. The part that I want to get to next is how to, how to actually sign up to my CRA. And it's pretty, fan, uh, it's pretty easy. If we can go back one slide. Sorry, my mistake. I got to play that again. Um, if you go to the MyCRA website, which is going to just basically look like something that says My Account for Individuals, you're going to get there through Google. Um, when you do that, you scroll down pretty fast, uh, just like one little scroll. And what you can now do through uh, through the CRA is you can sign up to, for My CRA through your bank. So before there was a, a tricky process where you had to phone them and they would send you a passcode over the mail. It's much more simplified now. If you have a bank account through, I believe it's about 18 of the major financial institutions, so that includes banks and credit unions, you are able to sign on to my CRA. It makes it very easy. Um, if you are thinking you want to sign on to my CRA and you're having a, a, a tougher time, and, that, and that's okay, you can also give us a call at Hamilton Tax Help 365 366 1767 because if our goals getting ready to file our taxes and we're on my CRA and then all of a sudden tax season comes along and I'm already on my CRA, it's great. It's going to be so much easier. So that is my CRA. So if I go forward two slides. So we are at the 30 minute mark. This is a blank slide because I want you to take a nice little breath. Um, you've come really, really far. You've listened to me talk about a whole lot of things. I'm sure some of you all have questions. But what I want you to think is, you know, you've spent the last half hour listening to me talk about a lot of information and that's okay. You're doing a great job. Like I said, at Hamilton Tax Help, we view it as a success when someone comes in, we work with them to get their taxes filed and then they leave knowing that they can ask us for help in the future, but they also leave knowing that they kind of know more so what they need to do to look out for themselves. So that is really exciting. That's kind of, my pitch on what you need to do to get ready to file your taxes, right? So first thing you got to do is you got to know what forms you need to get aside, right? So that's those income slips, uh, your rent and your property tax. That's really important. Second thing is when you're getting ready to file your taxes, you need to think about those benefits that you're going to get potentially when you file, because that's exciting, right? That's the reward for doing the work. Third thing you got to think about is making sure that before you file, you're on my CRA, because then you're ready to go to get that information. So those are kind of my three big points, and then we're just going to go to the next slide. And that is, what does the 2021 filing season look like? And I can tell you, as of November 11th, 2020, we don't know. Uh, we don't know if anything will be in person. We, we, just, we just don't know. Um, it's the time of COVID, and so we know that people need assistance, but we, we don't know. So that's, that's tough. Um, it's tricky. But that's kind of the era that we're, we're working in, right? So what I can say, though, is if we go to the next slide, that the government of Canada, through the Canada Revenue Agency, will be providing free tax clinics. We know that those tax clinics aren't going away. We know that those tax clinics might look like something that's different. So you're going to hear this big acronym, CVITP, um, Canada Volunteer Income Tax Program. Those are the free tax clinics that you see across the entire city, that you see across the entire country. So if you're listening to this uh, meeting and you're going, oh, I want to, 
you know, this is great, but my cousin lives in uh, British Columbia. What are we going to do? Well, you're just going to go onto the MyCRA. You're going to go onto the CRA website, and you're going to find the section about free tax clinics, or you're just going to Google free tax clinics. And within that, what you can do is you choose your province, you choose your city, and then it will list off all of the free tax clinics. Now, the free tax clinics for the 2021 season might not be listed till January or February, so you will need to check back repeatedly, but those clinics are there. So as much as we've talked about the work of Hamilton Tax Help, know that there are similar clinics across the entire country. They're there to help, especially during the time of COVID. They might not be listed yet because the clinics are still coming together, but that is where they will be listed. Next slide, please. Once again, this is us, Hamilton Tax Help, 365-366-1767. Next slide. We are down at Barton in Ottawa, um, but once again, our office isn't open to the public, but that's where our Dropbox is. And so if you are looking to work with us, next slide, please. It's going to look like something like that. Um, you know, just before I wrap up, the one thing I want to say that that reminds me how great people in Hamilton are is um, we were doing taxes in early 2019 and we had filed for all these people. And people in Hamilton love showing their appreciation for the work. And so we had this one day <clears throat> where we had three separate people drop by with a bag of donuts and four things of coffee. And so within the space of two hours, <laughs> we, had, we had three people drop by with bags of donuts and coffee. It was too, many, too much coffee, too much donuts. Um, but it reminded me that like this is a city with really good people in it and people who stick up for each other and people who appreciate uh, when they can receive some help. And that's kind of what we do. So please be in contact if you have any questions. I know we're going to go into a question and answer part right now. Um, but I want to thank you for your time. If we can go to the next slide. And yeah, I want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day. Um, you know, if you're like me, you're on these kind of calls all day long. Um, I want to thank you for going, okay, tax season is coming up. It's about four months away, but I want to learn what I need to do between now and then. So you're doing a great job. You're going to get through this. It's tricky, but it's not impossible. And that's what we're here to do.